Welcome to this Value Med, the ultimate guide for successful fingertip lancing. It's intended for users of cholesterol and haemoglobin meters where a 35 microliter second naturally formed droplet of blood is essential to get accurate test results out of your meter. So let's show you what you should do. Step one, wash your hands in really warm water. Soap, liquid soap, doesn't matter what you use. Temperature of the water is very important. Give your hands a really good wash. By doing so, you're massaging and causing capillary dilation and flushing. And you're warming up the hands. You can see they're going nice and pink. Do this for about 30 seconds to a minute. Also removes any dirt and contamination of your finger, making it a really nice clean area for your lance. This is absolutely critical. It really does make a big difference warming up the hands and getting them really nice and pink. And then dry them using a clean hand towel and let them air dry for the remaining 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, stage two is to massage the fingers in a downward motion with the palm of your hand behind the fingers. Rub your thumb down across the top of the fingers in this motion towards the fingertips. This increases the circulation and again flushes the capillaries. Do this for about five or ten times. When you've completed steps one and two, place the test device into your meter. It should automatically recognize the meter strip and if the code chip is in place it should prepare itself and ask you to apply the sample. When you're ready to do so, remove the cover from the lancing device, select the area you're going to lance. We always recommend the side of the finger as opposed to the base. Support the finger underneath. My favorite technique is using the thumb just to pull the tissues around and forward and then with a firm action trigger your lance. The first droplet will form naturally, wipe it away. Second droplet will form very quickly. Use the pipette, placing it into the blood sample. You're not squeezing the pipette bulb at all. It will naturally feed itself along until it reaches that black line which is the indicator of the blood volume required. And then taking the transfer pipette Place it above the sample well and squeeze the bulb to dispatch the blood sample into the test device port on the meter. The meter will then recognize the sample and start processing. Getting that naturally formed second droplet is so critical in getting an accurate result, particularly when you're doing either cholesterol or hemoglobin testing because these require 35 microliters to trigger the test device and that's almost 10 times what's required to do a simple blood glucose or keto measurement. Follow this technique and you should get near hospital accurate readings every time from that naturally formed second droplet of blood. Thanks for watching.